There we go. Are you recording? Okay. All right. It's 1.05 p.m. Today is Thursday, April 30th, 2020. And we are in a work session to discuss manager candidates. We are teleconferencing through Zoom. And Randy, if you would take roll, please. Trustee Wiegand. Oh, they get himself off of mute, I think. Here. Uh, Trustee LaRue. Here. Trustee Marks. Present. Trustee Everson. Here. Treasurer Johnson. Here. Clerk Rattari is here and Supervisor Durant. Here. Uh, Manager Gerard is here. Let me see. Uh, Brenda Account Clerk is here. Uh, Lois Stonehouse Accountant is here. Andrew Zins, Cashier Secretary is here. Uh, John Kanga, superintendent, was here. I don't know if he, yeah, he's still here. And that's all I see for staff. And uh, Frank Walsh is also with us. Yeah, we got John. Okay, I've got a blank, couple blanks here. Okay. So as I said, today is uh, a work session. It's not a special meeting, so we will not be making any motions. Uh, just to catch up a little bit, we interviewed four candidates for the manager's position two days ago on Tuesday, and it was suggested Dave thought we should have a work session, which is always great, prior to our board meeting on Tuesday night. So this is more of a deliberating meeting. We're not going to be making any decisions. Hopefully, everybody comes to the table with an open mind. Um, you may have a, a preference right now, you may want to take an action right now, but this gives everybody a chance to do some talking and listening to whatever anybody else has to say about the candidates. I would hope it would not be uh, defaming, of course, in any way that board, this board isn't like that, but focus on the positives. And um, we don't have any public, so, or do we? Uh, we do, but I do, I do not have any uh, public comment by email either, so. Okay. Uh, if anybody who's on would like to address the board before we get started. I see everybody's muted, but I just want to give them a chance. Okay. And there is a little delay, so that's why I'm waiting a little bit longer, just in case. So we have four candidates that were presented to us a couple days ago. We had Mark Borden, Patrick Reagan, Michael Kramer, and Thomas Marcus. We can, it's the board's pleasure. Do you want to take one candidate? Do you want to offer um, observations? Um, Randy, go ahead. I just make an opening <laughs> statement. I think we had four excellent candidates. Um, and um, I think it's going to be a hard decision. I think, there's, I think there's one, my, my personal preference. It's a little bit above the others, but um, that's why we're here to talk about it. But uh, I think we got four candidates that were excellent and um, thanks Frank for bringing them forward to us. Okay, any other comments? I did, <clears throat> I did think of uh, Pete here. I think we have to look at somebody who's gonna take us through some, as they would say, the old uncharted area now since the virus is here and uh, for the next four or five years there's going to be a lot of changes so we have to have, make sure that we've got someone in a steady hand on it and can take us through these days. Okay Ernie. Well, <clears throat> I follow up on Ritari's comments and that we have four good candidates but looking at all of them all four of them that I went back through and look at each one of them I wish I could have a uh, rewrite, re-reel everything that was said at each one of the meetings in that with them. So I have to go by memory and go by what was I wrote down on, on uh, notes in that. And uh, I think all four of them are good. Uh, my, my, prefer, my feeling that there's two of them that I felt was standing out above all four of them in that. And if you want, I can now, or if you want to wait till after a while, but uh, I'm looking at what they're doing now, what they, said what they felt the future would be for the township and that and that's what i'm going by and that so um, 
I've got it down to two individuals at this point in time out of the four. Okay. Sorry. Dave. Okay. Sorry, Ren or Ernie. Uh, Dave. Yeah, I just think I, I agree with what Ernie's saying. I think we, everybody has probably whittled this down to one or two candidates and rather than discuss them all, I just wonder if it wouldn't be uh, a little more productive to just go around and see who the one and two are. And I think you're going to probably find that the one or two are probably the same for everybody. And I think there's going to be a majority of us that have uh, a particular candidate in mind for the position. And I just wonder if we couldn't, and I'd be happy to start that off, whatever the board wants. Uh, if we can't just pare it down a little bit to one or two guys and, and uh, if we can get a consensus, then we can decide that one of the questions that was asked at the last board meeting was if we wanted to have them up for personal interview or, or if we wanted to uh, take them on the, based on the video interview and, and we, if we narrow it down to one or two individuals, we could make that decision. And it would be the least amount of uh, time at the meeting here, because obviously if we get down to one or two or even one, we don't have to discuss all the other ones. Um, it's just a matter of if I think we're going to find that we're all pretty much in agreement on who we want to see or, or the first and second choice. Yep, I agree. Any other thoughts? First yeah. remark, sure. John, go ahead. Okay, uh, uh, the last time that we uh, looked at candidates and we had m more than enough, we whittled down the number of people to consider by finding who, uh, with the board's concern, felt that they uh, could be uh, given the status of no further consideration. That's one way to do it. And of course, that's up to the supervisor running the meeting. But one way uh, would be to uh, have try that and see if there isn't that doesn't work because if there's if, if there are four votes to not give further consideration to any one of the four candidates, then you've whittled it down to three. Okay, thanks, John. But um, go ahead, Randy. Trustee Marks, uh, we're in a work session, so there'd be no motions today. Well, it wouldn't be a motion. It'd just be well, you can do consensus, but there's no motions today. So officially, at the board meeting on Tuesday, we'd have to make any motions to yeah. to either uh, you know remove candidates or approve who we would like. So. Yeah. I understand that. I, I'm just pointing out we we did find a way to whittle it down last time. Yeah, just don't say motions in this meeting because we don't make I, motions I, in a work I, session. I, I, <laughs> okay. Any other thoughts? But before I forget, I did email you all that uh, Attorney Zappa is available if we have questions. He didn't feel the need to be here, but he is available if something comes up that we can't answer. Dan? Hang on a second, Pete. Dan? I concur. I, I, I'm like the rest of you guys, I think. I definitely have two candidates that I feel uh, stood out from, from the rest. And um, I, I think everybody's in the same consensus that, that those two, and I, I personally would like to either do another, another type of a, a video conference or meet them in person. I don't know if that's going to be possible, but uh, just something to consider. But I think right at this point, we can, we can narrow it down to two. Well, yeah, without making any motions, we could do exactly that, like Dave suggested. Pete, what were you thinking? I was just thinking uh, either we should probably really consider another Zoom meeting or in person. You know, either way, do we want to talk, go with that? So, uh, with the virus round, maybe another Zoom meeting within the two or three or whatever you want, whoever you want to talk to again, you know, rather than jeopardize anyone's health or something like that. 
So if we have two candidates that we all, the majority feel strongly about, that means what do we do? Do we have a second round of questions? Uh, bring them in to, uh, Manager Gerard, what do you think about the, the possibility of an actual interview? We spread everybody out in the community room. If the board feels strongly enough that they feel like they have to turn your mute off too. You're on mute, Randy. I was just waiting until you were finished. Um, okay. No, it shouldn't be. You're, you're okay now, Randy. You have me muted, Randy? No, you're good. We can hear you. Randy? We can, hear, we can hear you now. Oh, okay. No, I, I think the bigger consideration is, isn't whether you want to or not. The question is whether they can or not. The governor right now has travel restrictions on, um, you know, in terms of social distancing and uh, interaction with people. I mean, if you want to have somebody come for a meeting, we could certainly arrange the community room to do that. I don't think you could do that in the boardroom because your proximity will be too close. You'll be violating the six foot Board, do you think it's necessary to uh, have a second interview? I guess that's the that's um, well presumptuous I, you, that you're going to have more than one candidate. Well, I think you guys need to decide that. I have my own opinion, but I'm not making the decision or, or even the recommendations. But I mean, if you want my input, I'll certainly give it. But I I don't want to color the rest of you. I may have a different sure. opinion than you do, but you know, okay. sitting in my seat, knowing what I know and what I think is necessary for the position, I have, I have my short list all set. If you're interested, so. Okay, let me check back with the board. Dave, you had your hand up. Yeah, I would just think that we're. Why don't we just go ahead and see if there's a consensus among the board of the of the top two preferences, and and then we can if there's a strong opinion of a number one preference, then I don't know that we have to go a whole lot farther. Uh, it's just a matter of what the consensus of the group is. Sure. Okay, Ernie. I, f I agree with Dave. I think uh, if we can come to a consensus of, of two individuals and uh, then at the board meeting on Tuesday, if we can come to a consensus of one individual and move forward with that one individual and in that too. So. But uh, I think that's the direction we probably should research and see if we can go that way. That's all. Okay, Clerk Atari? Yeah, the uh, interviews are now online. I did get them up late on Tuesday night. So if any of you guys want to review those after we kind of pare them down, um, they are online now. Thank you. On, on our YouTube you. channel, so. Okay. Pete? Lynn, I'd be happy to kick that off if it makes everybody a little more comfortable. I don't care. Yeah, let me see. Pete had his hand up. I would like to see another Zoom meeting with them in case they, they got any other questions after watching it and you know going through the interview. They might do a little more checking on our township or the board or what we've done, what we haven't done, and just one more Zoom meeting rather than you know coming here. So with all four, are you saying, uh, Pete? This is your the last candidate. The last okay. Candidate or the last one or whatever. But, okay. You know, after a while, you start thinking about it, and they say, "Well, maybe, gee, maybe I would ask." I did the same thing. I watched all four of them again last night, and uh, you know, I come up with questions. And one question that I had: Are they going to be able to move up here? Are they planning on moving here? Or, example, one from Manistee, or is he planning on working out of Manistee? Or you know, <clears throat> so. But they might have questions of us again. So maybe mm -hmm. one more Zoom meeting wouldn't hurt. With the, with the, when you pare it down, I mean. Okay. How about if we go around, unless somebody else has something else, if we go around and pick, see what we think. If there's one candidate that you think is the best and that's what you want to kind of agree to, if you've got two candidates, you have, if you have three, why don't we I go just, around the room? Does I just think you do Dave your top, you top start? two, uh, just do your top two, I think. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can Dave? start. Uh, my first, uh, my first selection would would my first preference would be Tom Marcus. Um, he's got a wealth of experience, and and I think he'd be a, a good fit. I think he might be uh, 
Yeah, I'll leave it at that. He's, he's almost like he's, like he's too qualified. <laughs> but, but I understand that he's trying to downsize. But my second choice would preference would be uh, Patrick Reagan. He's a little, uh, quite a bit less experienced than number one, but I think he'd be a good fit personality-wise. Okay, who's next? I'll Randy? take it. Oh. I, uh, I, I do agree with Trustee Wiegand. Uh, Thomas Marcus is number one in my opinion. Uh, Patrick Reagan is number two in my opinion. And uh, I can't really say much other than what Dave Wiegand had said. So Thomas Marcus is very experienced and um, I think he'd be a good fit for us. And even Patrick Reagan would be also. Okay, who's next? Dan? Oh. Go ahead, Dan. Um, I, I agree on the, on the top two. Um, however, I have them in just reverse order. I liked uh, Patrick Reagan a little bit better. I liked his personality that I thought would fit with our staff a little bit better. Um, Thomas Marcus uh, was an excellent candidate. He just seemed, in my opinion, that's where I threw the, the, the joke out there about the pickleball because he was so serious. I, I hope that he, if he were selected, that he wouldn't quite be that serious. Um, I like, uh, I like, uh, look out. I like Patrick Reagan's, whoops, dropped you. I liked his um, personality, I guess, just a little bit better. Is I thought he might fit in with uh, with our staff so that's okay. how I that's how I ranked them okay Pete were you next all right I'll, <clears throat> mine is uh, my top choice is Marcus Thomas only because of some his experience <laughs> what we're going to be looking through for the next four or five years so we get going again and uh, he's a little bit stern he's like Randy he's kind of sticks to the points and stuff like that and keeps us on the, on track I think he's uh, he's very well qualified, and he's got. He's, I think he's a very very rare, rare rounded individual, and uh, yes, he he looked kind of stern, but I think you know you want somebody who's going to take this thing serious because we have got some serious times ahead of us. So, so I, I would take Thomas Martin, Reagan, Patrick, very nice young man, personality, outgoing, stuff like that, but. With today's date, time, and what we're going through, I think I'd stick with someone with more experience and more serious, I guess. Okay. Who's next? John or er Ernie? Go ahead. I, I'm like Dan. I I'm the other way around. Pat Regan was my first one, and Tom was my second one, and it was difficult going to that point in time. And I went back to the interviews and looked at them, and that, and they both have. To me, good backgrounds. I like Pat Regan because his enthusiasm and the way he presented himself and the way he jumped on different subjects and that. And is, I just felt that uh, he would be a good candidate for the township into the future and that. So um, I would just reverse that. I would say Pat Regan's one and Tom is second. And Tom has all that experience back there. So it was difficult between the two. And how do you select the two of them in that? Uh, Either one of them, I think, will go do a, a fantastic job for the township. It's just a matter of, can we come to a, a consensus as to which one we think would be the best in that? And I picked uh, the opposite of uh, Dave, but either one of them would be great as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I just looked at enthusiasm for Pat when he made the uh, his presentation on that. He was right there jumping on the different subjects in that. and. He was interested in everything in that. So, and Tom has the background. So that's where I stand at this point in time. Okay, John. I think Patrick Regan would be the choice that I would pick of the four. And that's not because the other candidates aren't qualified. It's, I'm looking at their age and how they would fit and how long we'd have them 
on board. I, I think we could learn a tremendous lot from uh, Thomas Marcus. I think we could gain many, many hours of good experience with him. It's just that I feel that his age and his, where he's located now and where he plans to be with his family in that, that I would not be voting for him now. Patrick Regan, he's enthusiastic. And I think he's a fit. The other two candidates, I couldn't vote for. So, John, are you putting Thomas as a second, or do you just want to have Patrick? I'm, put, I'm, I'm, I'm putting him as, of the four, he's my first choice. Patrick? Yes. OK. Do you want to do a second choice or not? I do not. OK, that's fine. Okay. Uh, I had also chosen Thomas as my first choice and Patrick as my second. I was, uh, with all the people I've interviewed over my lifetime, I was extremely impressed with the thoroughness of Thomas's uh, research of us. And that tells a lot about a person's um, abilities going forward. Are they going to just stop when they hear the first answer or not? You know, are they going to do a little bit of research? They're going to go beyond what is expected. The other candidates did do a little bit of background as far as what we were doing, what we were up on. But Thomas is a lot more, was, his report was more comprehensive. He was very stoic. Um, it's probably been a while since any of you have ever been in an interview, but it's pretty scary. And when you're out in front of the rest of the world, it's even more intimidating. So I can see where um, they would come across that way, whether it's their character or not, it's hard to say. Uh, Patrick was a little more relaxed. Maybe, um, maybe we treated him differently so that he felt more relaxed. Maybe that's his uh, normal demeanor. I'm not sure. But um, the experience and the background, and that's why I qualified with Thomas, uh, the question of the five years, I took his responses to say he would give us at least five years. And some of the board thought it meant that it would only be five years. So that's something we can mm -hmm. clarify with him uh, if we choose to go that route. And then for Tuesday, we can either eliminate one of the other candidates just because, or we can interview both of them. Um, I don't know that it's necessary to bring them up here. I think, especially in the circumstances we have right now, might not be a good idea. We can get a lot out of these interviews. We, we got a lot of questions answered. And I think then if we're gonna have the two candidates, we need to have a little more in-depth sense of, of the questions. And I would look to you all maybe to provide one for me because there's gotta be, pardon my voice, <clears throat> there's gotta be something that you're uh, passionate about now that you know the candidates a little bit, that you would have individual questions for them. I think that would be very helpful. So Dave, you had your hand up? Yeah, I guess it's pretty obvious the, of who the top two preferences are for everybody. I would think the the move for this point would be at the board meeting on Tuesday, make a motion to invite those two back for another video interview uh, sooner rather than later, and then make a decision based on that. I agree with that. Uh, yeah. Pretty well split uh, on who the number one preference would be. It's, it's like a three, four. So I just think we just, that would be a good motion for the meeting on Tuesday and then set up a, another video interview with those two. Mm -hmm. And actually, Clerk Atari, when you put the agenda together, you could, you know, because we ask for motions when we can have them. So we could put a motion together and put it in the packet. If you think that'd be all right. Yeah, I can do an action item form on that. Okay. Ernie? 
following up uh, on Tom, like I said, the qualifications are there. The last bit of conversation with him on Tuesday on his family down in Milwaukee and that, their first responders. The comment, if you remember, is that he's got, what, two or three grandkids at the house and that. And he made a comment that he didn't want to leave them with his wife there. So that was a concern somewhat as to what would happen if, if the uh, family is still down in Milwaukee on first responders, what they're going to do with the grandkids and how they're going to address it. Because he just said, he, if I remember right, he would not leave the kids with his wife by, without him there. So that's a question that we may have to raise on whenever we have the meeting with him and that. That was one, one of my concerns. But other than that, like I say, either one of them would do a fantastic job for the township as far as I'm concerned. That's, that's it. Okay, Dan? Uh, it was also a concern of mine. He did make that perfectly clear that he wasn't going to leave his wife at home with the grandkids. He said uh, that he wouldn't have a home to come back to if he did. And so it is a concern and, a, and something that we do have to clarify with him and to go forward. Mm -hmm. That's where I figured everybody would have their individual questions and concerns about the candidate they felt most passionate. Okay, Frank, do you want to zap in? You just have to unmute. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, two, um, four really good candidates, and you narrowed down to two really, really outstanding people. So I applaud you for that. Um, just a couple of things. One thing, my job is just to make sure everything is done correctly and legally, and because um, my firm is reflected on what you do, and we can't be making any comments about people's with all due respect, we shall not be talking about age. Right. That can't come up. That can come back in a bad way for the township. So, or family um, condition. Or family me? condition. Yeah, I said, exactly. Or family condition. That's why Roger yeah, needs to be part of this discussion. Yeah. So let's keep it all to this, their skills and what you heard. I can tell you one thing, that either candidate plans to make a home in Marquette area. So um, that's going to be a good thing going forward for whoever you choose. I'm not here who to tell you who to choose. I know both of them very, very well. And that's up to you who's going to be the better fit. The one thing I would ask, too, at the end of the day, um, again, this goes back to fishing. You're fishing for a candidate. They're fishing for your position. It works both ways. And at any time, they could be um, taken back by what they see or hear. At the end of the day, I would urge you, and I urge every client I work with, every community, to come to a, um, if you can, to come to a unanimous vote as best you can at the end of the day um, to draw that candidate here. So when you move on Tuesday and move on to the next um, interview and stuff like that, while there might be some disagreement, at the end of the day, you want to reel them in, your top candidate. And so if there's a majority, I would hope that others would consider that and you're trying to attract that one uh, candidate here. So, but I think you have um, just two really, really stellar candidates and it's gonna be a tough decision for you. Thank you. Frank? Go ahead, yes. Pete. Frank, can, you're allowed to ask him how, when he would be able to come to market and also the conditions that he'll have to make. No, you're, conditions, you're, no. Yeah, well, actually, the resident, there used to be a residency rule um, for um, that you could put, you can't even put legally, you can't even put a residency into a contract anymore. No. Um, so um, my job that you hire me to do is to find that stuff out for you in conversation. And I can assure you that all four um, will make the Marquette area their home. Um, I've been told that. So um, you can put aside any concerns about somebody trying to live four or five hours away and do this part-time. That's not going to happen. My concern would be it, he'd be willing to move here within a month or two, you know, versus how long is the virus going to go on? You know, well, remember concern. you are not under any time crunch to fill the position. It's not vacant. If it's going to take them two months to get here, why should that matter to you? Well, I just want to hear that from you. Well, 
I mean, I think I've been already made that clear. commitment. I think I've been pretty clear with you folks that I'm not in a rush to to leave. Um, you know, I I am in have a great concern about who you fill the position with, because I you know this is my 18 year old child that I'm passing on to somebody, um, you know, and it needs to continue to grow, not to stagnate, and not to go back backwards. Right. Oh, so, you know. As I said, you know, I, I don't want to taint your decision-making process, but I know who I would pick. No question in my mind whatsoever. Uh, because of what I know about where we are, where we need to be, and what we need to do to get there over the next 10 to 15 to 20 years. I mean, I don't live in the township. I live in the city. But like I said, this is my 18-year-old baby I'm passing on to whoever's going to care for it for the next 20 years. Thanks for that, Randy. Thoughts, comments? Okay, I think we can move on to Tuesday's meeting then. Lynn, did somebody record who we voted for or suggested? I did, yeah. Okay, could you run by them one more time? Sure, first? sure. Do you want individuals or just the totals? No, individual, because I'm off one. Okay. Well, you're off one because because John only voted for one. John did I not have a second choice. Okay. That's why. All right. Does that help, or do you want me to go through them? That's it. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Well, if this has given us more to talk to, more to think about for the weekend too, and if you want a chance to go back and watch the videos as the clerk suggested, to hone in some of those um, questions you might have. If you want to submit some specific questions to me, I'll vet them and make sure that legally they're appropriate. Um, otherwise, we can come up with another list. Ernie? At, at the meeting on Tuesday, we will have to then come up with the candidates that we want to move forward with. And then the two candidates we're not moving forward with, we'll have to then contact them at that point in time. But because we can't make any motion, do anything now, that's the direction we're going to have to go for next week in that. Mm -hmm. Dave? Yeah, I guess just to make sure I understand what we're, what we're headed for is that Tuesday's meeting, we're going to uh, select our, our, two preferences that we want to do a second interview on. And uh, that's going to be another video interview, if I understand what we're saying. Yes. From my perspective, I'd, soon, I'd sooner see it sooner rather than later. If we can do it towards the end of next week, it would be great. Uh, just to keep the thing moving forward so we can get this done. Maybe we could pick another Thursday date to be like this, this one, because everything's kind of still fresh from Tuesday to Thursday. I can appreciate Randy's comments about about we haven't lost our manager yet that he's still here. <laughs> I don't think we can we can stretch this out and wait to make a decision too long because we could stand to lose one or two of those candidates. I just think we need to move it ahead while it's still fresh in everybody's mind and and have that second video conference and everybody can make their decision after that and and then you're looking at the next board meeting before we make a motion to do that, or you could even call a special meeting, but I don't see it, why you'd wanna, after the next interview, you'd wanna do anything before the, the regular scheduled board meeting after that. Or the Thursday meeting could be a special meeting too, if we chose Thursday, whatever that follow-up is. We could yeah, make a decision, because otherwise it's two more meeting, weeks. I guess, but I I'm, I'm, would be a little hesitant to have a meeting that we're actually gonna make a uh, motion to, to offer employment to anyone, one of those two people. It would seem that everybody needs a day or two to mull it over and based on what happened at the interview before they make that decision. Yeah, well, That's we can talk about it too. my choice anyway. Okay. Randy, you had your hand up. Yeah, I, I guess I'm just, what I'd suggest for Tuesday is you're not you're not eliminating any of your four candidates at this point. Basically what you've done is you've selected the top two in your opinion that you want to have a potential follow-up interview with. And if one of those two 
one is currently employed, one currently isn't. Uh, if they need 30, 60, 90 days to relocate, I'm simply telling you that that should not be a concern for you because you, you don't have a vacant position. The, the key is selecting who you think is your best candidate and whatever it takes to get them here, you're free to do. That's all I was trying to pass along to you. That's what I was going to mention too, is the, the time frame. You know, if some, if, if some of these are working and some aren't, that makes a difference. They could get here, you know, the next day if we had to. So yeah. we'll just have to see depending on the candidate. Yeah, technically, the state of Michigan and the state of Washington or state of Wisconsin could this Friday lift their travel restrictions or their social distancing restrictions, and then you know, you one candidate has no more issue, four grandkids will go back home. Um, whereas your second candidate's still going to have to give 30 days notice, probably uh, 30 to 60 days notice in his current employer. So, I mean, that time frame shouldn't shouldn't really play into your decision. You want to get the best qualified candidate. Thanks for that. What else? About it. Okay. Then no, we no public comment from email. No. Yep, I was gonna say we don't have any public here. Unless some of the folks online want to comment. Okay, just want to make sure. All right, any wrap up? Anything anybody wants to comment? All right, we can adjourn then. 142, and we will have uh, this on the agenda Tuesday. 142, we're done. Yep.